everybody, and welcome back to Slay the Princess, which, um, gotta be honest, I'm doing pretty good at that part, if I'm being real. Uh, yeah, last time, JRPG time, killed a god and kind of gave her body to sort of a different god, which, I mean... We'll find out if that was a good move or not, but at this point, I really have no idea what's going on, nor do I really care. Like, honestly, like I do care. I'm like, but I'm just like, I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm just going to see what happens. I'm, I'm done, you know, like freaking racking my brain trying to understand what the hell is going on. So, uh, yeah, we're we're back here uh, at the, the first chapter of the game. Once again, restarting the loop. Uh, we'll see what outcomes we can get on this first girl this time, but, uh, I don't know. We've tried quite a bit, I, in my opinion. I don't think, uh, I don't think other than, like, just straight up letting her leave, I really haven't, uh, I think that's all the options to explore, in my opinion. But let's, uh, let's jump in. You're here to slay her. We know, we know, we know. Uh, we're just gonna go, uh, silently continue to the cabin. You make your way up the short path. Yes, warning. yes, yes. She will, she not will do ignore him. the he hero. He we have the hero now. He, um, you know, uh, uh, I'm torn the on that guy for sure. Blade. Shut up. Take the blade. You take the blade. Well, actually, fuck, I just realized we've never gone into the basement without the blade. You're on a path. Lamau. Let's try it. You make your way. Oh, she will. I'm down. Go. Let's get in there. Let's just go the straight to the basement blade. here. See what he says. He's going to be all like, that was a bad call, you retard. The door to the basement creaks open. Revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. Okay, Her yeah. voice soft. Hello? Is someone there? That's a different girl. It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Oh shit, I should have brought the knife. <laughs> Oh, no. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. I agree at this point. My bad. Hey, just checking in. Uh, I'm here to save you. I'm here to save you lie. Very good. I think I'm here to slave you. Continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you may still be able to do what needs to be done. I don't know, man. I seem pretty fucking weak without it. I literally killed that god on a You loop. walk down the stairs oh, and lock her. eyes with Am the princess. Am I stupid? There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Okay, hold on. Did it? Now... I swear to God, I thought that was a different voice, but that's just me, probably. But also, that may have been a different voice line because I didn't have the dagger. Like, now she sounds all innocent and and not aggressive. Like, she's going to play into that. Huh. Maybe it was a good choice. Who knows? She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Bruh. Beautiful women are the biggest threat to anyone. What the fuck are you saying? I am begging you to stay <laughs> focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hey, why don't she ride on me here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, I'll move on. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Yeah, she's totally playing innocent here. What the hell? Okay. Let's talk a bit first. Okay. Oh, look at her. She looks so sad and innocent. 
You've killed me so many goddamn times, you son of a bitch. Oh, fuck, what is her name? <laughs> Literally never even occurred to me. Literally never thought I don't even know this girl's name. Oh. And she's not even gonna fucking say it. She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness. <laughs> Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Okay, I think I did ask this, actually. I'm remembering that line specifically, but it was said in a very different tone. And also, how fucking... <laughs> fucking egotistical is that? Is princess her name or her title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named princess princess? That's actually hilarious. Like, uh, like Mario. His first name's Mario, last name Mario. Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. Fun fact, that's stupid. <laughs> I hate that that's canon. Anyway. So is your name princess? Uh. Like I said, you can call me princess if you'd like. That's not what I'm fucking asking you. Answer the question. I'm sorry, I've been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. Uh-huh. I must have a name, though. Everyone has a name. Typical fucking politician. Can't give a fucking straight answer. Jesus okay, Christ. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, for sure. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. I'm thinking about it. I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. Okay. She's gonna I say. don't actually know what that reason is, <laughs> okay, but fair. you don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation, right? I mean, I haven't found any remotely. You have all the explanation you need. And you yeah. should know better and than that's to why. trust whatever she comes <laughs> up with. I'm the first person you've seen in a while. What have you been eating or drinking? These questions are a lot deeper than I would have thought. I don't see what that has to do with anything. Okay, bitch. How are you surviving? This Idiot. is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. I don't know. I think it's pretty important information. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right? Yeah. I've sent her slay. You're apparently supposed to end the world. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? Uh, keep her locked away. Retrieve the blade. Go back upstairs. Retrieve the blade without saying another word. Let's see here. We have we still have two more explore options, so let's go through those, I guess. Kinda maybe. What are you gonna do if I let you out of here? The princess hesitates before responding. She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. Those are both valid points. Are you looking for the truth or are you looking for the right answer? Because with the dynamic we have going on here, I don't think the specifics of what I do really matter. Damn. So you're playing that card, huh? The power dynamic card? All right. It's not like you'd believe me. <laughs> She's so fucking right, dude. <laughs> anyway, I was sent here to slay you. Apparently, you're supposed to end the world. He's gonna be like, "Oh, what? It's not like you'd believe me." Oh, she just she didn't have anything to say to that. She just kind of moved her arms. But I don't think you're actually dangerous. But I want to see from you for myself. I'm still not sure what to believe. Starting to think it's true. There's something about you that doesn't feel right. Hmm. Do we go in or do we back off? 
Oh, shit. That was an explore option. That's that's bullshit that is giving me these. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's see here. I wanted to see for yourself. I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, there is something about her that just feels off. It's the eyes, dude. They're too big and too, like, puppy dog-like. Like, it's, it's definitely the eyes for me, at least, that I don't. I don't like her. <laughs> Maybe I say something doesn't feel right and she plays it up like you're mistaken. Would everything feel right about you if you were locked away in a hole by yourself for as long as you can remember? Damn. Okay, she got me. <laughs> Just how long has she been down here? Yeah, for real. So, did they tell you why I'm supposed to be so dangerous? I was hoping you'd tell me. Honestly, yes. Honestly, yes. Uh, no, which is why I don't actually think they're dangerous. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping... Oh, fuck. Oh, I had to yawn. <laughs> for keeping that uh, information secret from me. I was hoping you'd tell me. I don't know how to destroy the world if that's what you're getting at. Of course you don't, sweetheart. Oh, and you wouldn't tell me if you did, you fucking stupid i believe her i don't shut up she doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it oh well, that's a good point too at the end of the day whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust uh-huh trust that you not have earned because you it's like prying teeth to get information out of you whoever sent you to slay me claimed i was a threat to the world but they didn't tell you why. That is true. I don't trust that. And I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. That is also slightly true. She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. Talking like this for a reason because I didn't bring the blade. <laughs> let's, be, let's be real meta here. <laughs> So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here, or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. This is a lot of lives we're talking about, honestly. Entire timelines and worlds, and I don't know how you specifically keep surviving those. And we keep getting reset to here, but every other world has been different, completely different. Who fucking knows? Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? You know, that's a good point. I don't know if you specifically can end the world, but I'm pretty sure the others did. You know, well, I don't know about the, the little one that I just... <laughs> Killed on the first try, amazingly, like a fucking, fucking cool guy. That was awesome. Wasn't that good when I did that? And made you feel powerful and not worthless at all throughout this whole entire game? We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here. And it's whoever sent you here. And those two groups are probably one and the same. Maybe. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. Okay, you don't have to get political about it, dude. <laughs> uh, I won't kill you, but I just can't just set you free. It's too risky. What if I stayed for a while and just kept you company? Maybe then everybody could be happy. That's not gonna make her happy. Uh, I'm gonna keep you locked down here at least for a little bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Keep her locked away. I'm sorry, but I can't... I just can't trust you. This doesn't add up, and it isn't worth risking the risk to take your word over the potential fate of the world. Uh, go and do nothing. Or go get the blade and say nothing. Uh, I can't believe... They've been keeping you down here like this. I'm getting you out of here. Examine the chains. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to get you out of here. Don't make me regret this. Examine the chain. Damn, dude. This fucking... 
this dialogue tree is so fucking like all over the place with what is happening here. I think I'm going to do this one. I'm going to keep you locked down here at least until I decide what I can do. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Doesn't it? I don't think she's going to take it that way. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Yep. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. I don't know about that. She's had plenty of time to find a way out, you know? So I'm the only one who liked that idea. <sighs> I liked it. Stupid. So I picked it. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. And there's the turn. She shows her true colors. But if you don't, I can promise that you'll regret that decision. There we go. You have Howdy, a bitch. choice. Let's hope for all our sakes, it's the right one. Hmm. I wonder what happens if I don't have the blade and I try to get her out. And I don't cut off her arm. I'm assuming it would just lead to that option anyway, you know? But let's, uh, okay, let's get you out of here. You can't be serious. Thank you. Thank you. You won't regret this, I promise. I also just noticed the text was white with a red outline, but then when she was going all bitch mode, it was just straight red. You're making a huge mistake. Oh, don't I know it. No, I think you're doing the right thing. Shut up. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. But you know what? I don't know if she'll suggest cutting her arm off because we didn't bring the blade down here at all. And sh she probably doesn't even know that we have the blade at all. That might be the play. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Nope. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. True. If there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the still, key's still lying around up there, somewhere up there. If not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. Uh, any other ideas, sweetheart? You're going to not suggest the blade, I'm guessing. Maybe there's some way to break the chains? There we go. Hmm. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. There we go. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Okay. So now we don't have access to the dagger whatsoever. So this is definitely a new path here. Is someone else here? Uh, return to the bottom of the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Yep. But uh, I've seen that path. Easier for whom? For real. Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. Yeah. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. Never heard that before. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates oh, before raising her arm me. to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Fucking Christ! As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. Oh, son of a bitch. They threw the fucking thing down here. It's the blade from upstairs. Fucking son of a bitch. I'm not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. Ooh. 
You won't like what happens if you do that. Oh, shit. Maybe I can actually do it now that she's... Uh... Preoccupied, I guess I should say. Let's do it. Without hesitation, Bitch. you bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Finally. Finally. The wound drives <gasps> her to the ground. No. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. Okay, dude. That's a first. <laughs> you, you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? Hell yeah, hooker. The princess oh. pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Ugh. Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. Honestly, I tend to agree. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna try everything I can. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. Yeah, no. We've. That's been well established. Let's be real. It's an act. She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. Now that's a fucking lie, and we've seen that. I'm not so sure. <laughs> yeah. Don't waver now. Oh, I'm not. I'm in. As you oh, ready shit. your blade to deliver a lethal blow, she lunges at your legs with the same animal ferocity she used to tear at her arm. Her fucking claws, bro. The fuck? Was that there before? I don't think that was there before. And her teeth are all pointy. Your blade cuts into her again. Ooh, okay. And again, as you're tackled to the ground, your body racked with pain as she rips into you with tooth and claw. Yeah. A barrel. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. Absolutely. Slay the Though princess. Your nerves are seizing with pain. You know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. Honestly, if we can just fucking... Like I said, Tom and Jerry her. <laughs> towards the towards the end of the, the cave there. And just let her bleed out. We've done you plenty of damage. You seize a of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. Yeah! Yeah! Run for the stairs and lock her in the basement. Maybe she'll bleed out. That's... Oh, fuck. Okay, well now we gotta... If this doesn't work, we gotta fucking go back and... and do this again. This was sick. Maybe I do finish the job. Maybe I give up, but I'm going to I'm going to lock her in the, the basement and see if she bleeds still out. To the wall. There's nothing she can do to stop you from getting out of here. Yeah, and if she finishes chewing off her arm, that's just going to be more blood loss for her. What if she doesn't succumb to her wounds? Whatever she is, she is so much more dangerous than I thought she'd be. Yeah. You rush up the stairs and dive past the threshold. You're safe for now. Okay, weird that they just opened it again after I... <laughs> you close the basement door, oh, there locking you go. it behind you and quickly barricading it with a heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay, we can make this work. She has an awful wound and we have all the time in the world. Playing jailkeeper for a while might make things a little easier. That's what I'm talking about. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. Oh, she got free. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? Oh, shit. Okay, that's terrifying. For sure. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. But it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my... Good side. Not happening. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. For sure. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. 
out of my mind. Is this a mental attack? I thought she was just talking to me. I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. That's fine. I'll just kill you in a different life. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. I really don't. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it does not. No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, now we got a problem. Oh shit, ignore her and go to sleep? That's fucking risky, dude. Threaten me all you want, it doesn't ease my guilty conscience. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. Uh, whatever you are, you're not a princess. Go ahead and waste your energy. I'll be waiting for you. Bang on the door all you want. It'll only make you bleed out faster. Well, I don't want to tell her that. I want her to bleed out faster. We're going to go with this one. Go ahead and waste your energy. I'll be waiting here for you. I want to be so sure about outlasting me. You're so brittle. So go ahead. Rest. Do whatever you think will help you be prepared. But know that I'm coming for you, and that when I find you, I will make you hurt. I mean... I've been hurt before, but I've gotten over it. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can, and huddle up against the wall. Interesting. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broken, and the table shoved out of the way. Okay. Couple things here. Terrifying. <laughs> One, she didn't touch us while we were asleep. So she clearly wants us to be conscious when she fucks with us. Two, how? <laughs> and then three, fuck. <laughs> Where is she? I don't know. Oh How shit! Get out of that awful <sighs> God, that that actually fucking got me. Why? Why did that get me? Oh, here we go. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. Epic. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First, your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Oh, uh, you know what? All her wounds are healed and her arm isn't missing. This is clearly like a ghosty goo, maybe. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Are you fucking Lying kidding about me? about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. Are you fucking joking with that line? Get the fuck out of here, dude. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? Ah, oh, fuck me. She steps closer. Jesus one Christ. One fall at a time, <laughs> cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Oh, Jesus Christ, she's powerful. Maybe we should have gone for it and tried to kill her. Oh, oh my God, fuck I off. I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. Jesus Christ, this art style is fucking me up, dude. What a shame. I hate this. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Sure. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. I'm like looking straight you at the subtitles. Left. I ain't even looking at this bitch. I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end, don't we? This makes me so uncomfortable looking at this shit. I don't like it. It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. Oh, please don't be a jump scare, or scare as soon as I click this. I'm sorry, but it is. Lamau. Everything goes dark, and you die. Oh, that wasn't that bad. The Nightmare. That sounds pretty bad. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path, you're here to slay her. Okay, yeah, this is all hunky-dory. Let's go ahead and go. A warning before you go any further. What's the new voice we're going to hear there? You lie 
She will do not think lying and cheating is her thing. She was very direct with us last time. <laughs> True. Or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. Yeah. She literally... I mean... He hasn't really been lying at all. It doesn't real. matter. Don't trust anyone. Voice of the Paranoid. Welcome, sir. Let's go to the cabin, see what's different here. The interior of the cabin is plain. The smooth wood Ew. of the walls almost featureless. Ew. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. Okay, fuck this one. Holy shit. What am I gonna do here? Fuck. I don't like that. Little children or whatever? Ghost children? Very berserk of you. Anyway. I'm going to call it there because I want to go lay down and cry. <laughs> Jesus, that uh, that was a long, rough one. Like, I'm surprised it took the whole 30 minutes to get through that one fucking chapter. That was insane. That was a good path. And I think next time that we get a chance to do it, I'm going to kind of do something similar there. But we're going to we're going to finish the job instead of trying to bleed her out because that clearly didn't work uh i mean like she fucking she turned into an ethereal being at some point and i don't know what the fuck is going on so next time we'll definitely check out this absolutely disturbingly creepy one uh so this is gonna suck but i mean i am so in <laughs> i'm so invested i fucking love this game dude I'll see you in the next one.